Hey, what's going on, cool kids? So, this is a Columbus Hollowware favorite. The favorite. The one that all the controversy is about, whether it was made in a prison in Columbus, Ohio, back in the 1800s. Uh, whether it was, you know, made in a place by some people in a small foundry in South Carolina. Here's what I know. Okay, and I've got a kind of a funny story to tell you about these things and me. Um, this is not the only the favorite skillet that I've ever owned. I've actually owned two of these. This is a really good example of one. The inside's nice. Um, it's got a good crisp logo. It's not pitted. But about a month ago, I was in an antique store and I saw one, and it was marked at right around forty dollars. Now, that is an amazing price for something like this because. These are very rare. They're hard to find. They're controversial. I mean, they're just, they're kind of what you want to find in the, in the wild. But I was after something else that I found. Um, and I thought, you know, I'm going to leave that favorite there in that antique store. And somebody's going to find that. And, uh, and, and they're going to have the score of a lifetime. But then I also thought, you know, maybe I'll, I'll help the guy out that's selling it for such a small price and you know help him get a few buck more bucks out of it so i take my the stuff that i wanted to buy and i bought that and i said hey can i have the number or can you call the guy that owns that booth that has this in it and um i think he's got something he doesn't know what he has because it was marked a pickle favorite um and at forty dollars for this for a number eight pickle favorite that's a pretty decent price um but i thought you know i'd help the guy out so I call him up, or she calls him, she hands me the phone, and I say, hey, you know, this is a Columbus Hollowware skillet. Um, the marked versions were made from about uh, 1882 to 1886. After that, they were unmarked um, due to the prison, the, 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 the prison sourcing and the contracts and the controversy behind it. So after that, they were left uh, unmarked until about 1905. 1906 and then the production after that is kind of even more sketchy than it already is to start with so I'm explaining this this guy and taking the time to do it and this guy takes about 30 seconds to call me every name in the book tell me that I'm ruining that people like me are the reason that cast iron collecting has went downhill and it's, it's so much the pans are so much anymore and that all he's trying to do is give pan give pans away at a good price and that he's from Piqua, Ohio. He knows all about Piqua, Piqua favorite, Piqua, the foundry, the history of the foundry, and that I have no idea what I'm talking about. So, you know, when you meet people like that and the, and the dog with the, that sometimes follows cast iron collecting, um, I don't I don't waste my time fighting with people about it. It's it's kind of like how you season your, how, how many millions of different ways are there to season cast iron. You pick yours, if it works for you, it works. So I left a sleeping dog lie and I said, okay, well, thanks for your time. You know, good luck and, you know, I, I, you have a great booth, is what I said. And uh, he hangs up on me, all this. So. The, the devil on my other shoulder took over. I walked back, I purchased the skillet for $40, and I took it home. I put it on eBay and sold it for about 10 times that. So the moral of the story is, you gotta listen to what people have to say. Every, you know, every, there's a lot of BS out there, there's a lot of misconceptions, there's, you know, lore, there's this and that. But if you're going to be closed-minded to things, you're never going to learn anything. And this is all about having, cast iron collecting is about having fun. It's about creating things, being creative, and, and sharing what you know with everybody else. So, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you the next time. Alright, see ya!